जय श्री कृष्ण एंड टुडे लेट अस स्पीक अबाउट द मैजिक ऑफ बुलावा व्हाट इज बुलावा बुलावा लिटरली मींस अ कॉल एंड स्पेशली इन द हिंदू पार्लांस इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट अनलेस द लॉर्ड कॉल्स यू यू कैन गो टू अ प्लेस ऑफ पिलग्रिमेज लाइक इफ कृष्णा कॉल्स यू मे बी यू गो टू वृंदावन and if uh, shirdi sai baba calls you you go to shirdi and in this case if meher baba calls you then you go to meherabad so let me tell you about my trip to meherabad i got acquainted with meher baba through the book of nan umregar entitled the sounds of silence nan had lost a son an eminent, eminent jockey in an accident soon after her dead son her his name was karl resumed contact with his mother and wrote of being under the divine presence and grace of meher baba nan recounts in the book the various messages that came from her son and her experiences in meherabad since then i felt a keen desire to visit the place i had since then had the desire to visit meherabad a colony it is a colony near ahmednagar which is approximately a 2 hour drive from pune last fortnight i mean this is obviously i'm right speaking about last fortnight uh, the, from the point that i had written this particular note but this probably was in my mind maybe 7 8 9 years ago so here i say last fortnight i had the opportunity to visit the place maybe it would be better to state that meher baba called me and that is what is abulava it is said that one can only set foot on holy pilgrim centers only when the bulava comes meherabad was serene the pilgrim center was comfortable the pilgrims at the pilgrim center were friendly and helpful the samadhi was inhabited by meher baba he was there the samadhi is where he was interred one could feel him meher baba said that he has not come to teach but to awaken he was silent for 44 years he did not speak from july 10 1925 until he passed away on january 31st 1969 he observed silence for more than 3 decades because he says man had been deaf to the principle and precepts laid down by god in the past he says enough words had been asked for and given and now it was time to live them he said that to be nearer and nearer to god one had to get further and further away from i my me and mine to renounce the limited self grace is required and baba said that he had come to release that grace i was told the thousand strong to throng to the samadhi on important days connected with baba's life i expressed the desire of experiencing the energy of such a day this time i went on the anniversary of baba having given up his body i prayed for something close to my heart i asked for a sign and i gasp of breath as it came no sooner had i uttered my desire Let me tell you what happened. I said to Baba that if he was listening to me and he was going to grant me my heart's desire, then I should be able to find my driver in the crowd. It was a huge mela with so many people and I did not ask for a time limit. Earlier my driver was standing behind me in a queue which would take 2 hours to reach the samadhi. but because my cousin is physically challenged the people asked us to break the queue and go right away to the darshan we did the darshan and had a quick lunch which was readily available 
It was at that time that I made the request that I should be able to find my driver in that huge crowd. During those days, we had no mobiles. No sooner had I uttered my desire that my driver kind of emerged from the crowd. When I asked him whether he had done darshan, he said he had. But how? The time element just did not add up. It was supposed to be two hours to the darshan. And I had just left, maybe had a quick lunch. So within 20, 25 minutes, I had seen him and he had said he had done darshan. The time element just, not, just did not add up. But they say that in the spiritual world, the concept of time does not exist. Now I had another wish. That the next time I came to Mehrabad, I should be accompanied by Nan. You remember Nan, the one who had written the book, uh, the books, of the um, and 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 whose son had died, through which he had contacted. If you hear the first part of my this talk, you will know who Nan was. I had the wish that next time I came to Mehrabad, I should be accompanied by Nan. Now I didn't know Nan at that time. I mean, except through her book. Imagine my surprise when on my return to Mumbai, I was invited out for lunch by a friend who also invited charming Nan Umrigar. She promised to take me with her to Mahabad on her next trip, and she did. Having accomplished so much in two days, I felt that I had been away for a few weeks instead of just over 48 hours. But I was not surprised because I have read that time is an illusion. What is real is now. The present moment is the only truth. The past and future are phantoms. Though time is essential to function in this world, the conditionings of the past must be released and the anxiety and fantasy projections of the future must not be allowed to control our life. Accept what the present moment brings, act and leave the outcome to the Lord. One must return back to the now. And why I felt inspired to uh, share this experience with you is because yesterday I was invited by Roshini Shainaz, whose interview I have taken and who's a devotee of uh, Meher Baba, that she kind of had, she had invited me to attend the satsang of uh, uh, Baba's tithi when he had given up the body. And as I read this, the first time I had attended was also during the tithi, which was the 31st of January. So, Abulava, imagine being invited by the Lord himself. All we have to do is believe and know that the Bulava will come. And this has happened to me many times. Maybe I will share it with you as we go along. But until that time, you take care and God bless.